Welcome to the Real Estate Podcast with Robert Eicher. Today I am going to talk about five tips to pass the real estate license exams for the first time. I wrote a blog about this and it's on the website roberteicher.com. But I wanted to briefly summarize on a video how to do this. So there are every year there seems to be more and more people wanting to take the real estate exam. Um, except recently it may have slowed down a bit because of the residential real estate market and commercial real estate market to a lesser extent has slowed down. But as, as time progresses, it seems like based on what I've talked to of people that took the real estate exam long ago, um, they've added more and more criteria that you have to study. So you have to study principles of real estate one and two, law of agency, law of contracts, real estate law, uh, real estate appraisal can be a qualifying course. Um, and so there's a lot to it. And right here for illustrative purposes, these are the books involved in the class to, and I think I'm even missing one I, I loaned somebody one of them so I may be missing a book um, but it just goes to show you how thick the book, stack of books is and the amount of material that is required to digest to pass the, the both the state and national exam so I'm going to quickly run through some tips I'd like to share with the audience on how to pass the real estate exam. Uh, don't break up your studies. So don't think that you can study one module or one book or a couple books and then set it aside for a few months and then get to the next. Because if you break it up like that, you can take them in different segments and spread it out. I don't recommend that because by the time you get to taking the course, you'll have probably forgot some of the information you studied early on, and that's not a good way to go. Second is um, study the definitions. Make sure you go over all the definitions. There's a lot of terminology in real estate, legal terminology and real estate specific terminology that you really need to um, keep track of. Um, you can use flashcards and other study aids to do that, but the definitions are really important to know and the terminology um, very cold for the exam. Uh, understand the math. So understanding the math is tip number three. There, there's some math involved, real estate math. So the only thing I can recommend is what I've always recommended to people in terms of math is practice, practice, practice. So you, if the more you practice, the more you understand. If you think you can go over it once or twice, unless you're really good at math, um, you may be confused about how to apply it. Um, not everybody uses that in, the, in their daily life. Many people will be coming from other careers into real estate and um, they, they never deal with these mathematical formulas. Like for example, how to figure out rent, how, many, how to prorate rent, how to prorate at a closing, some of the closing costs and Make sure that's all done and done correctly because that's how you protect your client at closing. You're not supposed to just be there um, to collect a check. You're, if you do a closing, you're supposed to be there to go over the numbers and just double check some of the things that the title company put together. So that's how you better represent your client's interest. Um, the, the class notes, so take very good class notes and write them down. What I did is I wrote them down and then I would take the class notes and I'd read them into my phone and they're the voice notes and you can record the class notes. First of all, write them down in class, then record them into your phone and then you have them if you wanna to listen to them, like in the car or for a walk or something like that. And then you can go over it again without having to read and, or even if you're just laying in bed and, and you don't feel like reading, your eyes are tired, you can just listen to your voice notes that you made of the class notes. And number five, finally, the questions and the answers. 
um, every state has a website. I think every state, most states have a website where they have, you go to the, like in Texas, we have the Texas Real Estate Commission. You go to the Texas Real Estate Commission website and you will see they have a Q&A section, questions and answers, and it'll ask questions commonly that they get. So rather than having to answer everybody's questions individually, they will take a lot of these more common questions and they'll put it on their website and it'll turn into the questions and answers. And those are the official answers to your questions. If you have questions um, and those, if you read those and study those, that's a great study aid for the exam because many times that's what it's going to be on your test. They want you to know what they want the public to know and realtors to know, uh, real estate agents, I should say. Uh, realtor is a special designation that you get, but um, but they want the public to know and they want real estate agents to know um, when dealing with these matters. So that's it. Those are some five tips and I hope that helps. Thank you.